I was talking to some people about client essential because they wanted to join because they wanted to make an advertising agency. They wanted to scale that advertising agency to get a bunch of clients, big, a lot of money. Obviously everybody wants to do that. The problem with what they were trying to do with this advertising agency is that they did not want to make the creatives. They wanted to instruct the client on how to make the creatives and then press the buttons on the ads manager. Now I understand by you being presented by a bunch of gurus on the internet, all you need to do is learn how is learn how to do Facebook ads and the client will give you the creatives and you'll make a lot of money. One, not fucking not correct. Like it's not. It, it well, it's not gonna happen, right? So the the problem with advertising is is the the ad itself is what produces the revenue. And so so how are you going to be an advertising agency? that does not make advertisements. It doesn't make any sense. You have to be good at the production of ad creatives in the first place to categorize yourself as an advertising agency. If you don't make advertisements, you're not an advertising agency, you're a media buyer. And that's a completely different kind of person that you that you would get. Now, the problem is they wanted to make this advertising agency and they they, they were missing two things. One, they were, they were missing a promised end result that a client would get. Second, they were missing evidence that they have done it successfully before. So what my advice to them was, was to completely forget about the media buying aspect and sell shovels. What do I mean by sell shovels? So there's a lot of one advertising agencies that are operating and are making ads. And there's a bunch of brands that need ads. They don't need media buyers. They need ads. They probably want to go run the ads themselves. So what is absolutely cooking right now is selling ad creatives as a service, like the production of ad creatives itself, like videos from UGC influencers, um, different videos of, pro- of unboxing products or, or even just image ads, like the, the raw production of creatives itself. So that is what I instructed them to do. And that, that is how the, they should proceed forward, right? Now, here's what they said. They go, well, I don't know. I don't think we should join now because we don't know. We don't have those systems in place and we don't know how to make the UGC ad creatives. To which I said to them, I said, if I gave you $10,000 right now, how fast is it going to take you to go figure out how to make UGC ad creatives? I have, I have $10,000 for you right here. I need creatives. How fast are you going to do this? They're like, well, we, we do that tomorrow. Like we, we would figure that out. You give us $10,000. Okay. So, so we have now established that, that if I were giving you the money right now, it would take you roughly 24 hours to figure this out. Correct? Like, yes, correct. Okay. So, So why are we going through our life as if the $10,000 doesn't exist? Because it's always there. There's always somebody willing to pay you $10,000 for some X amount of ad creatives produced or whatever your service is, right? Now, the, the, the only problem that exists is the delta between the person you have to become in order to facilitate that offer, in order to deliver it in the first place. So why are we operating as if you can't just figure literally almost everything out in 24 hours? I give you $10,000. You're going to go on YouTube and you're going to, maybe you'll go buy some person's course. Maybe you'll buy consulting. Maybe you'll do whatever, but you're going to figure it out if the $10,000 is there. So why are you allowing any other 24 hour period to elapse without you just knowing how to do that? Because if you have the skill, you can get the $10,000. It's just that it's, it's, it's not directly in front of your face, but you operating under the assumption as if it isn't there makes it so that you never just go learn how to do the thing. And in my last video, I talked about acquiring a vast array of capabilities because the only difference between you making a substantial amount of money and you making no money at all is your capability and how many things you know how to do right? So why are we allowing any other 24 hour period to elapse without you just learning the thing? I was talking to another person inside of client Ascension and he was telling me about how he was running applications to get clients. They had to go through this jot form and they had to put this info over here. And then 
he he was like, I need to go hire a VA to like put this over into a sheet and like a, like like approve all these applications. I'm like, what are you talking about? But just use Zapier. He's like, I've never used Zapier in my life. I'm like, you you have sat here and you have operated this business for three years and you have automated precisely nothing when it will take you a grand total of approximately one hour to learn how to use Zapier. And I was like, what are you doing? The, the amount of time it will take you to source, interview, and train a VA on how to do this function will not only be 10 times more expensive, it will take 10 times more raw mental bandwidth that must be expended. Just go look up a YouTube video on how to use Zapier. So that is precisely what he did. And then what happened is the next day he comes back and he's like, dude, I feel like an absolute idiot for not just learning this before. Which, which is correct. When I was younger, I, rem I, I vividly remember this. I was so psychotic with, with, with watching YouTube videos and buying courses and, and, and then implementing courses immediately. This is all I did for like a year and a half. Like when I, when I first started doing this, I was like 20 years old. And I remember being in my dad's house and he was, he was watching me like at these courses and I was, I was just doing this all day. And he came up to me one time and he goes, you know, Dan, I'm really proud of you. You put a lot of work in and I see you learning all this stuff and I, and I see you implementing it. I just want to let you know that I'm proud of you. And that shit hit because maybe, maybe you don't have somebody who is encouraging you upon the things that make your life actually better up, up, upon you learning new things and implementing new things. So I'm going to do it for you. I will be very proud of you. If you go on YouTube or you buy whatever person's course or you just go, you buy books, buy a bunch of books. I don't know, buy, buy, buy all of Russell Brunson's books and just read those. And then look up, look up Michael Masterson. He's a copywriter. Go read all of his books. Go, go read that stuff. Go, go watch all of my YouTube videos and then come back to this video and leave a comment. I will tell you I'm proud of you because I am proud of you because it is th that, that action specifically. That, that series that series of things that must occur, that, that, that is the difference between you being poor and having a substantially large business that, were, that, that, that makes it so you don't have to work a nine to five job. Oh, 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 freedom. Yes, I understand. Like you want that. And, and, and what is stopping you from doing this is just the shit you know. Like you just need to know how to do more things and what, what stops you from doing this is not the raw amount of work it takes to actually sit and watch a YouTube video or read a book. It is the uncertainty around you needing to execute something. What do I mean by that? If you, if you pick up a book on copywriting or if you, or, or if you say you want to go learn how to build websites with Webflow, what's happening is you go to your first Webflow video and you watch like 10 minutes of this. Now what happens is you have 30 questions. You have no idea what's happening. It's like, this is so confusing. Well, what about this? 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 And, and there's, there's so much uncertainty bombarding you. And so just uncertain, like a, a swath of just like sniping and arrows hitting you like, well, what about this? 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 And it, and it hurts. It, it, it's extremely uncomfortable to be exposed to uncertainty. Now, the problem is that what you're not doing is just write, taking, taking a note card and just writing the question down. And then continuing along the video. And then you watch the next video. And then some of those questions get answered in the video. And now you have a checklist. And you get to check something off a checklist. Right? 
You've just transformed yourself into the person who knows the answer to that question. And let's say you have 50 things on here and you go, you go, you go check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark, and you keep getting these things checked off. When I was in college and I, and I had tasks to do, I would take note cards and I'd, I'd, I'd write the task on the, note, on the note card, I'd put it on the wall and I'd have like 30 of them. And every time I did the task, I'd take it off the wall, crumble it, throw it in the trash can because I was able to feel a sense of accomplishment, right? If you, if you have mail, when you get mail in the mailbox, you have a shit ton of mail, you put it on the counter, you start sorting through it. This is garbage. This maybe needs attention. This definitely needs attention. And you start sorting through these, right? And then you throw the garbage out. You open the stuff that maybe needs attention. You scan it real quick, you throw that out, and then you have the pile of the stuff that actually needs attention. You open those, and then you spread those out, and you go task by task by task by task, and you accomplish shit, and you become the person who has achieved something. Because it, it, it does not take a considerable amount of effort to get a lot of shit done. It really just doesn't. If you want to be a top 1% person, all that requires is for you to do top 1% things every singular day. Now, this might seem daunting to you. Be a top 1%. I have to work harder than 99% of people. Yes. However, 99% of people don't fucking do anything. So if you were to just read 30 minutes a day or watch one hour of educational content on the internet, I mean real raw educational stuff that requires you to expend energy, like, like literally cal like caloric energy in your brain that requires you to think, right? If you do that one hour per day, and if you did that for six months, you will be a monumentally different person than you ever thought that you could ever be. It is truly that simple. And I'm not, at, I'm not exaggerating in any fucking sense of the imagination at all. That is all it takes. That is all it takes to be 1%. If you want to have a top 1% body, you know what that means? It means you need to go to the gym like three times a week, like work out literally like two hours a week. Congratulations. You do that for six months. You will look significantly better than a vast array of the population. That's all it takes. The difference between you making a stupid amount of money and you being completely dead broke is such is, is, is so minuscule in the grand scheme of things. All you have to do is just cut down your TikTok time one hour a day. Right? Because what happens when you learn things, you are literally making neural connections, right? It is, it is actual, it requires actual cal calories, like ender, energy expenditure that must be exerted in order for you to learn things. And this is why people failed in school because it's actual work, not work of maneuvering your body and picking heavy things up, but work in the form of it. It's, it's literally taking up caloric energy in your mind to make connections between different neurons. Now, what happens is you might be wondering what kind of skills do I need to learn? Because in the last video, I told you to acquire a vast array of capabilities. You need to know how to build websites. You need to know how to do sales calls. You need to know how to do cold outreach. You need to know how to make content and you need to know how to write copy and make advertisements. That's a lot of shit to learn. And each one of these has their own five to 10 subsections. Now, what happens is just exactly like the neurons in your brain are physically structured in exactly that same fashion. All of those components similarly construct themselves and connect together. It's a spider web. One thing entails components of another. And the only way you are ever able to make these connections correctly is if you do this practice of taking this note card and you write these questions down and then you watch the next video and you have more questions and some of them get answered. And then you look up the answer to the one question and it somehow pieces into another thing and then pieces into another thing and pieces into another thing. You're like, you're, you, you are literally like 200 hours away from being a vastly more competent human being than you ever thought you could ever be. Like it's, it's really actually that simple and I'm not fucking with you in any capacity. It's, it's that easy, right? So two things you should do, subscribe to this channel, go look at the links in the description and probably 
Also watch this video right here. I love you. Goodbye.